Hey guys, it's Jessie V. You will be happy to know that I have yet another read time for you all. This story is about a time I got super, super sick. I was in grade eight and it was the end of the year and we were all going to go on a graduation trip. This trip that we were going on was to Muskoka Woods, which if you're not from Canada and Ontario, you're probably not gonna know what that is. It's a very forested area, just complete wilderness. There's some cottages there. There is a lake. It's, it's pretty much it's just trees. So for some reason they decided to send us to Muskoka Woods in the middle of winter. So everyone was smart and packed their big snow boots. But I didn't really have snow boots because I didn't really play in the snow. I just had like these dress boots which were still boots but they weren't waterproof. So anyway we go to Muskoka and I'm already not having a very good time because the showers in the cabins were like one of those open showers so 10 girls can be showering in a room and you just see everything like there's no curtains you all just shower in the same place and I was not comfortable doing that so let me tell you I did not shower for three days which I just smelled beautiful I smelled like a summer flower but I didn't care because there was no way I was taking off my clothes for 20 people and if you're confident in doing that good for you props to you but I just I did not want to do that the other thing was there was like no heating in the cabins so basically you had to get like 30 blankets to even be warm when you're sleeping in your bed. Oh, and the beds, they were not comfortable. I felt like I was on an episode of Survivor. So one day the teacher came to us and he was like, we are all going on a hike through the forest. And because it was winter, the snow was very, very deep. So we were walking through the snow and the snow was probably all the way up to our knees. That's how deep it was. But the teacher thought this would be a great idea. Anyways, as I told you, I did not have proper winter boots. So about five minutes into this hike through the woods, I had already felt the snow seeping into my shoes and my socks were really wet already. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to complain. When I get back to the room, I'll just warm my feet up. Everything will be good. But about 30 minutes into the hike, because my feet were so soaking wet, they began to tingle and sting and it did not feel very good. My feet were hurting because they were so cold. But I still decided not to say anything. About 50 minutes into this hike, my my feet were so frozen that I actually couldn't even feel them anymore. And at this point I was getting really scared because I was having issues walking because my feet were so frozen. So I decided to go up to my teacher and I told him my situation and he like freaked out right away. What he did was he put me down on the snow and he took off my boots. He took off my socks so like my feet were just out in the air. And he like warmed up his hands and just pressed them over my toes and he was like warming them up. He was literally taking my foot and using his face to warm up my foot. He was putting my feet under his underarms like he was using like parts of his body to warm up my feet And my poor teacher was just freaking out because he saw like my toes were turning blue. They were so cold It was actually a really dangerous situation So after he got my feet to the point where they weren't really blue anymore He rushed me back to the cabins and he called my parents and told them what was going on And the embarrassing part was my principal from my school had to come all the way up to Muskoka Woods to pick me up and bring me back home so she had to drive four hours up to our camp in Muskoka just to take me all the way back home And let me tell you it was an awkward drive because imagine being in the back seat of your principal's car while they drove you home Like what is there to talk about? There's really nothing to talk about. She'd be like, so Jess, how are your grades? Oh, they're they're good. They're like I a pluses all the way Really because I saw your report card. It did not look that way. Oh, you mean like this year last year they were A pluses. Um, this year not as good, but you know, I'm, I'm trying hard, I promise. I hope that's the truth, Jess. I hope that's the truth. And it was just this like extremely awkward conversation all the way home. And when I got home, my mom took me to the doctors and I had really, really bad pneumonia. I was just coughing up stuff for the next month. I was so sick. I had to stay in bed. My birthday actually came up in the middle of when I was really sick and I couldn't even like have a party. Like my family came over for a while to celebrate my birthday but I was up in my room just in my bed it was not a good time so guys moral of the story if you're going out in the middle of winter make sure you have
of the appropriate clothing and boots so you don't get sick. And I know right now it's in the middle of summer, so it's kind of a weird time to do this video, but I just thought of it, so I thought I would just do a V-time on it. So just be prepared in a little while when winter comes. Be prepared. Anyways, guys, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat are in the description as usual, so please follow. Let me know if you guys have had any similar experiences to what I had happen to me. And yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.